Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea Hammond. Uh, I'm a clinical assistant professor in the marketing department and I'm also the program director for our online graduate certificate in marketing analytics, um, which is also a concentration available to you in the online MBA. And so I'm here uh, in this video to talk a little bit about this concentration and to tell you about um, the aim of the program and the content and curriculum and the courses that will be involved should you decide that you want to um, pursue this concentration. So let me just open up. I have a little um, presentation here that I'd like to just uh, show you all. Um, and so let's get started. Okay, so let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Here we go. Great. Um, so you know, in today's world, I think, you know, if you're interested in marketing or if you've taken a marketing course already or you've um, you know, you're working in the marketing field, you know that data has become such a significant aspect of the marketing function. Um, Data-driven marketing, so this idea that marketers are using data and analytics to aid their decision-making processes by investigating all of the things that marketers and businesses are interested in with their um, target markets and, and, and others, um, you know, has become such a really um, significant component of, of the marketing function um, that most folks who are in this field are using data to some degree and there's an expectation that you will have skills with data and that's across all the different marketing functions um, traditional media and non-digital campaigns digital marketing customer acquisition and retention customer experience um, you know market forecasting research and development uh, brand management supply chain all of those aspects that marketers are um, um, you know, touching within the different various functions within an organization, um, they're, they're using data to help inform their decisions. Um, and so marketers are now really expected to understand the principles and functions and fundamentals of market research. So where data comes from, how do we get data, um, what data is and what we can do with it, and um, the, the fundamentals of statistics, so how we can analyze data, some of the tools that we have available to us to analyze data. Um, and so marketers really play an interesting role now in that they're expected to kind of bridge the gap between the data itself and the science and the business. And so marketers don't work in a vacuum, right, within the organization. They're working with um, sales folks, uh, folks within R&D, um, uh, brand managers, um, folks within the supply chain, and then of course the C-level as well. And um, so there's an expectation that from these folks that these stakeholders that marketers are working with that they will be able to um, understand what data is available to them, what data is going to be useful for their particular questions, and then um, be able to analyze it and then kind of give them the recommendations, bridge that gap between the hard data itself and the, the ultimate strategy and decision making. So really, it's, it's a data-driven world in marketing now. Um, there really is this expectation that the modern marketer is going to be both an artist, right? So you're going to write content, you're going to work with creative, you're going to maybe manage social media and other types of campaigns um, and, you know, build brand personas and, you know, brand positioning and things like that. You know, that's kind of like the more creative aspect to marketing um, and where marketing traditionally was. Um, but now, you know, there's this expectation that the marketer will also be um, to some degree a scientist you know as I said understanding where data is coming from know how to um, identify the right data sources um, track them over time apply data to the challenges of the folks that they're working with within the organization. Um, so we've got to really kind of marry those two components. And that's what this program is about. Um, you know, this program was designed to, to um, you know, help folks to kind of bring those two sides together. Um, and you can see, you know, from, from this slide, these are verbatims from um, various uh, recruiting sites and um, job announcements about the kinds of skills that, um, 
employers are expecting that marketers have. So be proficient with statistics, develop data strategies, be a subject matter expert in marketing, be able to identify and select and extract relevant data, um, perform multi-source analysis, um, produce meaningful metrics, analyze data. So lots of talk about bringing data into the marketing function. So there, you know, this is just a highlight that, you know, there is an expectation for this role and that, you know, if you're starting out in your career in this role, you really are, are expected to kind of know these things. If you are already been, you've been in this role for a while, you're still, if you want to enhance your career, to move your career through, um, you know, the various levels, you will have to have to some degree data skills. And so this concentration um, is really about providing marketers with the fundamentals that they need in order to participate in data-driven marketing. Um, I like to think of that bridge that I just spoke about, you know, bridging the gap between the data and the science and the, the business and the strategy and the decision making. I like to think of that role there. The marketer is playing a translator role. So you understand enough about data to know kind of what you, what you need, what you need to do with it. You might not always be doing it yourself. You might have a statistician on staff who is going to really be data minded, but you can work with that person. And then you have to be able to translate those results for the stakeholders holders, sales folks, um, CEO, um, head of R&D, you know, folks who may not have any data background at all and really need to understand the insights that we're getting from the data itself, not necessarily the hard and fast numbers. So marketers are often playing that middle role, that translator function of translating the science into um, the, the useful and the tangible for those who don't have that background. Um, this program is designed to train translators, um, this concentration. And so we take a very outside an approach where this is not a hard and fast statistics concentration. What we're more concerned about is identifying marketing challenges and then aligning the right data and analytic tools to addressing those challenges. So we take an outside and approach. We always approach things from the marketing aspect first. Are you dealing with a brand management issue or a pricing issue or customer experience issue or whatever it might be? And then here's some data and tools that you can then draw upon to provide the insights that your organization needs. Um, we've got professors who have designed these courses and are teaching these courses who have um, lots of industry um, experience. They understand these challenges because they've been working with organizations. Um, I myself spent over 10 years in industry um, working with marketers to uh, use data to address their challenges. Before I came to Penn State, um, my most recent role was with Forrester Research. Um, and so if some of you may know Forrester, they are um, a large international tech analyst firm um, where I spent almost five years there working with clients in all kinds of industries to help them um, use data to um, make decisions. Um, and so we've got folks who have designed these courses and who are teaching these courses who are, um, you know, really understand what's going on in industry now and also really understand the principles and practices of market research and analytics and can marry those two things um, and can help you to do that as well. This concentration has three courses, and I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, and there is, if you were to take the certificate program, there is a prerequisite that you all are um, going to be um, uh, switching out um, 811 for your data-driven course. Um, so you need to have a base knowledge of, of fundamental statistics before you can take these other three courses, and you will be getting that as part of your core curriculum in the online MBA. So these are the cor three courses that you will be taking for this concentration. You'll be taking Marketing 812, Marketing 813, and Marketing 814. And so 812 is um, a course that is going to provide you with some insight into the data and analytics that are available for addressing digital marketing communications. So obviously, digital marcom is a huge component of what marketers do, a lot of marketers at least. Um, and so it, it, this program, this concentration would be remiss if we did not address um, analytics for this area. And so you'll be learning um, about things that um, will help you to understand um, mobile website 
um, shopper experiences, will help you evaluate digital campaigns, evaluate social media, monitor social media, media mix modeling. So a lot of the fundamental challenges that someone who's dealing with digital marketing communications will come up against out in the field. Um, and we will uh, talk about the data and analytics that are going to help you to, to get some insight into how to address those challenges. Similarly, we've got 813, which looks at customer acquisition and retention. So a huge aspect of what marketers do, identifying the right markets, identifying customers, determining their lifetime value. So analytics that are going to help you to drive targeting, acquiring, and developing relationships with, as well as retaining customers. Um, so dealing with churn, for instance. Um, and so this course really looks at the kinds of data and the statistical tools that you can use when you're dealing with um, these kinds of marketing challenges. And finally, you've got 814, which uh, deals with analytics around brand management and customer experience. And so we've got a number of different ways that we can approach challenges that are happening for these particular areas. Um, so we're going to look at, at, at addressing um, brand positioning and differentiation, pricing and product strategy, uh, brand equity, customer experience and satisfaction. Um, so we've got a lot of, of analytic tools and a lot of different kinds of data that are available to us to um, help us to get some insights into these areas. And so this course is, is going to look at those particular challenges in specific. And so we'll, we'll cover over the semester um, delving into the kinds of tools you can have in your toolkit um, to be able to address some of those challenges. So really, you know, we cover the, the gamut of what marketers are dealing with. Um, I, um, as program director, spent months looking into the kinds of content that we should cover in our curriculum for this particular program. Um, I use my own industry experience as well as talking with over 25 industry experts um, from brand managers to marketing executives to um, industry professional association um, folks to determine what did we really need to cover? What did employers want marketers to know when it came to data-driven marketing? Um, and overwhelmingly, these folks said, we want people who can bridge the gap. Bridge the gap between science and the decision making. And so that's where the outside and approach for this, this concentration came from. And then these topic areas are all the fundamental aspects that marketers will deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that's why the program and these, these courses are um, al aligned and are, um, you know, content specific in this way. So we've really, you know, we spent a lot of time um, on determining what, what this program should look like, what these, these concentration courses should look like, so that you as a marketer can um, really have a solid foundation in um, data-driven marketing. So if you have any other questions about the concentration or the courses or the kinds of things that we're going to cover, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I've included my email there, and I'm happy to address any questions that you might have about the concentration. Thank you.